could you talk about a little bit about what is a forecast and where this concept comes from? Yeah, we we talked a lot about uh, you know why estimates are bad, right? We spent a lot of that time talking about what what the problems are with uh, sort of the standard ways of estimating. So, um, and we we hit the edges of this forecast idea, and uh, I think it was Perry or Tim that mentioned that you know forecasts have to have a range, right? Um, so this is an example of a forecast. It's in the weather context, right? Uh, we should all we're probably all familiar with weather, weather forecasts. And this in particular is a hurricane forecast. And what that white cone is saying is that that's the probable path of the storm. So we're saying that the storm is most likely, the center of the storm is most likely going to fall inside of that white cone. The other really important piece of estimates is a confidence interval. So in the, in the case of hurricane forecast, typically we're looking at a 95% confidence interval. So 95% of the time the storm will fall inside of, of that path. Um, and let's talk a little bit about how they're doing this. So if we go to the next slide, um, what they actually do is create what's called a spaghetti chart. So this chart is a bunch of simulations based on historical data, based on the data they have about the storm and about weather conditions in the environment and about all of this stuff, um, a bunch of simulations of where the storm might end up. And what they're actually doing is just, they're just saying, you know, 95% of these simulations end up inside of this cone end up inside of this path. Um, and then they just update the forecast uh, really frequently. So we do something pretty similar to this uh, for forecasting the knowledge work, the type of uh, work that we're doing in building products. And we can generate uh, pretty much exactly this chart. If we go to the next uh, slide, we, we're just generating a, a spaghetti chart simulating burndowns, right? So this is what a Monte Carlo forecast is is that we simulate uh, based on our historical data on how, much, how many things we've gotten done in the past. We simulate how many things do we think we might get done in the future. And we just pick a, pick a line. So if we want 85% confidence, we say, you know, 85% of these simulations ended on or before this date. And that's our forecast. That's, what, that's, that's in a nutshell what Monte Carlo forecasting really is. 